this. As you know, the NCID is organizing a weekly one hour Facebook live and YouTube live session on innovation, entrepreneurship and startup for IGNU students and faculty covering different topics of common interest. The program aims at encouraging and motivating IGNU students towards innovation, entrepreneurship and startup. The 26th session in this series titled Government Support for Startups, Know the Way to Help Your Business is being organized today. To deliberate on this topic, we have with us today, Ms. Varsha Jaiswal, who is our resource person today. Ms. Jaiswal is a research scholar who is pursuing her PhD degree in commerce from the School of Management Studies, IGNU. Ms. Varsha is a bright scholar who has qualified the national eligibility test and received junior research fellowship from the University Grants Commission. Her special area of interest is entrepreneurship. She has presented research papers in national conferences and published research papers in peer-reviewed journals under different themes of entrepreneurship, women entrepreneurship, MSME, and e-business. She has also assisted in designing of the course material on subjects like marketing and entrepreneurship for Commerce Department, School of Management Studies, IGNU. I welcome you, Ms. Varsha. Thank you, ma'am. We also have with us Dr. Om Prakash Sharma, Director NCID. Before I invite Ms. Varsha, I will request Dr. Sharma to say a few words, please. Dr. Sharma. Thank you, Dr. Mamita. Good morning to all of you. And I also welcome Varsa Jaiswal for this uh, session on Facebook Live on Innovation in a Startup. And today's session, which Dr. Mamita has mentioned, is related to the government supports for the startups. For the last several weeks, we have been talking about the concept of innovation, entrepreneurship, Issues of IPRs also we have covered. Um, several other related aspects we have covered. And always we have noticed that our students are worried about how to get that funding support. What government can do for us? What other agencies can do for us? This is very important for, uh, for all those students who are willing to do something in the field of entrepreneurship startup. Uh, in this context, I think uh, today's session will be very important because uh, Varsa will be talking about... Uh, different government schemes and um, how that funding can be can be taken from different resources, different sources uh, for this startup purpose. Varsa, you can um, talk in Hindi as well as in English. This can be bilingual in which whatever you are comfortable and because our students are also uh, from all over the country. So, जो आपको ठीक लगे आप हिंदी में बात करना चाहें इंग्लिश में मिक्स्ड करना चाहते हैं आई थिंक बाइलिंगुअल विल बी गुड क्योंकि उसमें सभी तरीके के स्टूडेंट्स को फायदा हो जाएगा फ्रॉम इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग एरियाज दे उनके लिए अच्छा रहेगा और जो हिंदी बैल्ट के हैं अदरवाइज है उनके लिए भी आप बाइलिंगल यूज करेंगे तो अच्छा रहेगा और स्कीम्स के बारे में तो आप बताएंगे बताएंगे और थोड़ा सा ये भी बताइए कि उनका स्कीम्स तक पहुँचने के लिए उनको क्या क्या विशेष ध्यान रखना चाहिए क्योंकि गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स आर अवेलेबल लेकिन अगर उनको हमें बेनिफिट लेना है तो किस तरीके से क्या हमारा अप्रोच होने चाहिए क्या हमारा प्रोसेस होना चाहिए वो सारा अगर बताएंगे तो और अच्छा रहेगा सो विदाउट टेकिंग मच टाइम आई वॉन्ट सेकेंड वेलकम यू एंड वेलकम ऑल दी पार्टिसिपेंट्स हुई अस थ्रू यूट्यूब फेसबुक एज वेल एज थ्रू गूगल मीट थैंक यू वेरी मच डॉक्टर ममिता इट इज ओवर टू यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर शर्मा Now I invite Ms. Varsha Jaiswal to take today's session on the topic, Government Support for Startups, Know the Way to Help Your Business. Varsha, please. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Sharma and Dr. Mumita and the NCID team, IGNU, for inviting me to this session. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, hello, learners. As we are already aware, that today's topic for the discussion is government support for startups know the way to help your business 
uh, where I will try to make our students aware with the government schemes, initiatives, and policies, which uh, aims at nurturing, protecting, and encouraging the budding entrepreneurs like you uh, for the betterment of the Indian economy. And all these information will be shared with you in the upcoming slides. And uh, uh, just give me a minute to share my screen with you. Uh, can you confirm are the PPTs visible? Yes, it is visible. Just put it on slide so more. Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All good. Thank you, sir. So, uh, before coming to the slides, I would like to give you a brief introduction on today's topic. As you are all all are aware that nowadays the term startup has become very, very popular, uh, not only in India, but uh, around all the corners of the world. And in fact, uh, Indian startup ecosystem is the third largest ecosystem in the world. Or India ka startup uh, ecosystem is very important and vibrant because of many reasons and uh, listing some of them as we know that uh, uh, in India, we have the largest youth population and uh, the, go the government has also emphasized that job cannot be created for each and everyone, but there is a much scope uh, for everyone for self-employment. And that is why the government is encouraging people to start their own business. And uh, the startup ecosystem is also important in terms of providing innovative solution uh, for solving consumer problems. As we know that Paytm, Nike, Big Basket, Zomato, these are companies that have been able to do innovative offerings in many years. And they have been able to do this in the world. And uh, last but not the least, the Indian startup ecosystem not only create uh, products for the domestic use or for the domestic market, but uh, in the times of COVID, we have seen that how the Indian uh, small business have uh, supplied or exported products uh, to the rest of the countries. So because of all these reasons, startups are being highly encouraged by the government in all the countries of the world. And in India also, uh, the mission is there, the Startup India mission is there to build a robust startup ecosystem that is conducive for the growth of startups. We read the newspapers and social media that the government empowers to empower startups to promote innovation and technology to promote new new schemes and initiatives. Launch kar rahi hai. And uh, the government launch of Startup India initiative has given a kickstart to these uh, system way back in 2016 and now to boost uh, it many more schemes are being launched uh, and uh, the government has also created uh, dedicated departments to help and promote new businesses and because of all, all these factors more and more people are setting up new startups and uh, the uh, like in the time of covid the government has released the atmanirbhar bharat to package or the Atmanirbhar Bharat mission to make India self-reliant and um, the government is emphasizing that uh, uh, to succeed in this mission and to succeed in other missions like the Make in India vision, uh, the core foundation is based on the uh, success of these startups on the micro, small and medium enterprises. So the government have launched several unique government schemes and programs designed to empower startups in India. And now through these slides, we are going to discuss about them in detail. So coming to our slides, the first question arises that why the startups need support? Uh, the support system becomes a must because uh, plenty of new companies are rising these days. Uh, but as we have read in various reports that only few of them are able to succeed and turn profitable in the long run. Uh, a recent IBM study study also found that 90% of the Indian startups fail within the first five years of inception. Thus, 
the road ahead is not so easy uh, the reasons may be the challenges faced in financial marketing mentoring legal planning or uh, some kind poor generation revenue um, pro, uh, model so if you want your startup to be counted in the list of successful entities you need to have access to the key ingredients now what are the key ingredients the most important ingredients for any startup to succeed are access to great ideas access to talent access to customer and capital it's not necessary ki agar ek person ke paas excellent business idea hai to uske paas human resources bhi honge financial access bhi hoga ya uske paas great marketing strategies hongi in this situation if he or she needs support that support is provided by the external organization of the startup ecosystem among whom the government play a very crucial role because the government not only provide the resource support but it also provides the regulatory support now government support for startups so let us have a quick glance at what kind of supports are given by the government of india to startups for their growth and development the the government of india give recognition to startups uh there is a startup india initiative the government also provide resource support there are also government schemes by other uh, by the ministries who are working under the aegis of the government of india there is startup india seed fund scheme the state startup ranking the national state uh, startup award the startup india showcase these are some of the ways through which government is working to make the environment conducive for startups now the coming to the first initiative that is the uh, dpiit recognition for, for startups the department for promotion of industry and internal trade under the ministry of commerce and industry in india is giving recognition uh, to the startup which is very beneficial for your startup as uh, the process is very simple and free of cost and only and a major benefit of this recognition is that the only startups which are being recognized can avail these schemes or the offers which are uh, given by the government under the startup india initiative and uh, till now total of 61421 startups are being recognized by the department for promotion of industry and internal trade that uh, uh, now coming that uh, which that which entities can uh, apply for these recognition uh, re so there is no universal definition of the term startup uh, anywhere and uh, in our country startups have been defined under the startup india initiative which is a flagship initiative of the government of india launched in 2016 to develop a strong startup ecosystem in india uh, for the purpose of government scheme and these conditions um, are only for the purpose of government schemes it's not like ki yahi entities ko startup bolte hain but if your entity satisfy these conditions you may get it recognized uh, and uh, the getting recognition is completely voluntary but if you want to avail the benefits and the scheme it is important for you or compulsory for you to uh, get the recognition so if your uh, entity is incorporated as a private limited company or are registered as a partnership firm or a limited liability partnership you can apply for the startup uh, recognition and uh, the enterprise should be um, 10 years from the date of its incorporation and registration and if the turnover of your enterprise does not exceed 100 crore in any of the financial year since incorporation then you can apply for the recognition and the fourth criteria is that uh, the uh, startup should work toward innovation uh, should work toward innovation and develop a product or service which is innovative in nature so if your entity uh, satisfy these conditions you can apply for the uh, dpiit uh, recognition and this recognition will help you in availing the benefits and the other schemes which the government is offering to the startups now now what is the process of recognition of an eligible entity as a startup uh for getting recognition you have to file an online application which is uh, which you can file through the mobile app or the portal which is set by the uh, department for trade of uh, internal uh, department for promotion for in, uh, industry and internal trade 
and this application uh, should be accompanied by the uh, registration or the incorporation certificate and also you have to give a brief summary or a brief profile of your business that what is your business model what are the products and services offered and the dpiit after making the necessary inquiries may recognize your startup or may reject your application if there are uh, valid reasons and after your successful recognition by dpiit the startup entity will be provided a recognition number which will be dipp followed by four unique number and uh, when you have uh, when your startup has been recognized you can apply for the other schemes and initiatives under the startup india initiative so coming to startup india initiative and what are the different schemes available for the startup under this initiative so to nurture the innovation and entrepreneurship in the country uh, startup india was launched by prime minister shri narendra modi on 16 january 2016 to build a self reliant india under this initiative a 19 point action plan was made and uh, the this action plan was divided under three categories or under three major areas which were simplification and hand holding funding support and incentives and industry academy a partnership and incubation so simplification and hand holding uh, in schemes ke through startup ki regulatory burden ko kam karne ki koshish ki gayi hai so that startups easily apne core business pe focus kar sake and uh, the funding support and incentives are provided that as we know that finance is the lifeblood of business and uh, startups being risky and uh, new uh, ventures um, banks are hesitant in giving providing loans to them and uh, they also uh, lack of, uh, finance support so funding support and incentives is provided uh, by the government for the growth and development of startups and uh, industry academy or partnership and incubation um, schemes or uh, initiatives are being launched to develop an university or industry linkage and to promote research and development uh, to promote or uh, develop innovative skills and to provide mentorship support to the startups now what are the different uh, initiatives under the three, uh, three following uh, areas key areas now let us discuss about them the first is the self certification uh, startups are allowed to self certify for six major labor laws and three environmental laws through a simple online procedure like uh, when a business is formed you have to comply with various legal formalities with various labor laws and the environmental laws but uh, uh, to for the ease of doing business of startups the government has exempted or uh, given um, self certification uh, uh, given them a self certification uh, way to uh, uh, certify for these uh, six labor laws and the environmental laws and uh, in case of the labors and the uh, these laws no inspection will be conducted for a period of 5 years and startups will be uh, inspected only when a uh, verifiable complaint uh, or some violation has been done by them so the registration process is very simple all you have to do uh, for the labor laws and the environmental laws you have to go on the sharam suvidha portal of the ministry of labor and employment um and then there you have to register yourself and uh, you have to mention that uh, your establishment uh, is a startup and you have to follow the by following the instructions you will, you can self certify your startup the other uh, initiatives were the startup india hub and rolling out of a mobile app and portal this hub and a portal are created to create a single point of contact for the entire startup ecosystem and to enable knowledge exchange and access to funding uh, the portal or the apps or the platforms for startups to connect and collaborate with other ecosystem partners uh, this hub you can see here that uh, this is a startup india portal which has been uh, launched under the startup india initiative there are different tabs like about resources network schemes and policies programs all the informations are available here by clicking on the tab you will get every resource which is required for a startup uh, you can access to the schemes and policies uh, you can also get the list of the incubators accelerators or the mentors who are available in your particular sector or industry and can connect to them 
then uh, the third support was given that a legal support for the ipr as we know that uh, uh, startups are innovative companies and uh, to con uh, and uh, to protect their innovation or to protect the uh, uh, a panel of facilitators to assist in filing the intellectual property applications um, were will be response uh, was given by the government of india the controller general of patent designs and trademark and the facilitators will be responsible for providing general advisory on different intellectual property as well as information on protecting and promoting intellectual property in other countries uh, in under this scheme the central government shall bear the entire fees of the facilitators for any number of patent trademarks or design you may file and uh, all you have to do is you have to reach out to an appropriate facilitator and uh, the list of the facilitator is also available on the startup india portal you can check the list and depending on your desired sector and uh, the jurisdiction of the facilitator you can go to them and uh, they they will advise you on the different intellectual property rights and while filing of the patent or the trademark the fees will be bared by the central government so this ipr scheme is also available for the startups uh, to promote and motivate them to file uh, their you know uh, to protect their innovation then uh, relaxed terms for public procurement uh, the government uh, uh, will exempt uh, for the public procurement or for the procurement uh, by the government the government shall exempt startup uh, in the manufacturing sector uh, from the criteria of prior experience or turnover and uh, the recognized startups are also been exempted from uh, submitting a bid security while filing for government tenders as we know that startup new entities hote hain so uh, generally uh, they don't have access to the market easily so what can they can do is they can uh, register themselves on the government e market platform which is an online procurement platform and uh, they can sell their products and services to the government departments uh, to the government departments and uh, under this unko koi prior experience ki zarurat nahi hai prior turn over criteria ki zarurat nahi hai aur unhe ek security amount submit karne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai so to uh, promote and to give uh, market accessibility to the uh, startups the government has uh, in um, has launched this public uh, procurement uh, relax norm schemes and uh, then there also faster easy exit for the startups uh, as we know that uh, majority of the startups uh, uh, fail in the first few years of their inception so keeping this a uh, view in uh, mind the government has framed uh, policies or um, to uh, simplify the exit procedure for the startups ki startup easily apne business ko shut down kar sake aur wo capital uh, or resources ko kisi productive um, avenue mein jald se jald aur easily reallocate kar sake now uh, these were the simplification and hand holding supports provided by the government now coming to the funding supports and incentives um like government is also providing funding support to the startups for their growth and development and under this initiative a sidb fund of fund scheme has been launched by the government under the sidb fund of fund scheme uh, the fund was set to a uh, 100 uh, 10000 crore scheme uh, sorry a 10000 crore fund has been approved by the cabinet and which is established by the department for promotion of industry and internal trade and but the thing is that uh, um, the fund under the fund of fund scheme sidb directly does not invest in the startup but uh, uh, the capital uh, but it uh, invest indirectly uh, through the uh, alternate investment funds um, known as aifs uh, which are registered with uh, security exchange board of india uh the you can get uh, uh, by going to the portal of sidb you can get the list of the uh, alternate investment funds and uh, you according to your sector or your product or service you deal in you can connect uh, uh, to these aifs and uh, submit your proposal or submit your application for the funds then the government also gives tax exemption on capital gain as we know that uh, startups are very risky in nature and uh, that is why uh, wo easily uh, investment ko initial stages mein attract nahi kar pate hain so with this objective 
uh, to promote investment into startups, government has given exemption on the capital gains to the investors. Um, uh, to the investors. Now the government is also giving tax exemption under Section 80 IAC. Uh, in the first three years, the startups enjoy a tax holiday. Um, tax holiday and to avail this facility again you have to be registered with the DPIIT and uh, you have to file an application uh, under section 80 IAC exemption application form you have to provide the uh, documents like uh, you have to provide the registration documents memorandum of association if you are a pri uh, if you are a, a partnership firm the board resolution as well as the annual accounts of the last three financial year or income tax return of the last three financial year and uh, after submitting these documents along with the application if uh, you get clearance uh, clearance from the board or the authority you can avail a tax holiday for three consecutive financial years Now you also enjoy the startups also ex enjoy tax exemption on investment of a fair market value under uh, by exception uh, from section 56. Uh, a startup company receives uh, where a startup company receives any kind of consideration uh, for the issue of shares which exceeds the fair market uh, value. Uh, the such consideration is taxable under the head of uh, income from this. but to, uh, for the startups the government is giving them uh, some relaxation and benefit they are exempted from uh, section 56 of the income tax act and uh, up to a limit of 25 crore they um, and all you have to do again you have to register your startup as uh, under the dpiit and get the recognition and then along with the basic information contact details declaration form you have to submit your application um, uh, a section 56 exemption application which is available at the startup india portal now uh, industry under the industry academia partnership there are also uh, some initiatives or uh, uh, to promote the growth and development of startups the government is organizing startup fest for so uh, for showcasing innovation and providing a collaborative platform uh, these fests are organized uh, to give uh, recognition uh, to these startups. Uh, and uh, if you participate in these fests, uh, which has been given in the form of grand challenges, workshops, and events, which is organized by the DPIIT, uh, you will be able not only to uh, get recognition, but you can attract more business. You can make uh, networking. You will get financial support also if you win in any of the challenges. And uh, your enterprise will also serve as a role model because uh, you are earning uh, when you are winning some uh, kind of uh, challenges or the events which are organized by DPIIT. Like you can access to these information go by going through on the Startup India program um, program section under the uh, on the Startup India portal. Like you can see that there are uh, different tabs of uh, challenges incubator program, accelerator programs, events, workshop, and other programs. Um, all the program uh, list is available here, and you can up make app uh, apply for any of the program, like the recent program is the Maker Mela, uh, which is Asia largest uh, platform for makers, and it is being organized um, on uh, 21st to 23rd January 2020. Applications is clearly up close ho gaya hai. 30th, uh, 30th, 1st December the key application open there but in near future you can go through this uh, section and you can have a look on con si events organized ki ja rahe hai, government ke dwara, and uh, you can apply uh, to participate in these events and challenges then uh, the Atl innovation mission uh, have two core function to promote entrepreneurship and uh, to promote innovation. This mission not only support uh, and uh, under the Atl Innovation Mission, the government not only support uh, uh, the present entrepreneurs, but uh, it also aims at uh, uh, promoting the future entrepreneurs like the school student. It has programs for uh, to promote innovation in among school students as well, to establishment of Atl Tinkering Lab to foster an innovative model um, uh, sorry, innovative mindset among the 
students and uh, uh, recently uh, the atl marathon um, is a um, is being conducted uh, it is a challenge which is giving to uh, which is being given to schools jahan pe schools ko uh, apni choice ki koi bhi community problem ko identify karna hai and uska ek innovative solution uh, provide karna hai jab last edition hua tha is marathon ke to usme uh, more than 7000 applications aaye the and the top 300 of them um, have given internship opportunities with top companies of india and unko prizes and certificates and funding support bhi diya gaya tha niti aayog ke dwara and 2020 uh, me jo recent atl marathon jo fir se conduct ho raha hai uski application dates abhi bhi open hai and you can apply there uh, till 6 and the schools can apply there till 6 march 2022 and uh, the mission aims at not uh, supporting or uh, um, developing innovative mindset among these students and uh, the through atal innovation mission the government is also uh, aims to establish in new incubation centers and also reviving uh, of established incubation centers then there is also private sector expertise for incubator sector uh, uh, set up building innovative centers and national institute setting up of seven new research parks model to the research park set up at the iit madras बायोटेक्नोलॉजी uh, सेक्टर्स के लिए अलग से कुछ स्टार्टअप प्रमोट करने के लिए इंक्यूबेशन स्कीम्स हैं ऑल दीज एम्स टू प्रोवाइड इंक्यूबेशन सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट एम्स टू प्रोवाइड हैंड होल्डिंग एंड फंड एंड फंडिंग सपोर्ट टू दी स्टार्टअप्स यू कैन गेट एनरोल्ड इन द इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स यू कैन गिव योर प्रपोजल्स टू देम एंड गेट एनरोल्ड अंडर देम एंड गेट द नेसरी हैंड होल्डिंग एंड फंडिंग सपोर्ट then um, one more support which is given by the government under the start of india initiative is uh, for the future uh, entrepreneur is the innovation focused programs for student uh, these programs are innovation core program the nidhi program the uchchatar avishkar yojana uh, through these programs the government uh, uh, aims to uh, develop or foster innovative uh, thinking in students and uh, the government is giving funding support to the innovations uh, to the innovation proposal which are shortlisted uh, under these uh, programs or schemes the uchchatar avishkar yojana is uh, um, especially meant for the iit students only and um, the innovation core program uh, school students ke liye hai jahan school students apne proposal submit kar sakte hain and uh, the shortlist that entry uh, will be provided an opportunity to showcase their um, uh, to showcase their pr- uh, proposal in the annual festival of innovation which is held in the rashtrapati bhavan then apart from the startup india initiative the government also provide resource support in the form of online learning courses and partnered services um online learning courses aims at to uh, um, developing latest skills among the um, entrepreneurs or uh, in courses ke liye uh, in courses mein apply karke uh, not only you are able to learn the latest skill but also you can earn a certificate or a degree you can go to the startup india portal and uh, um under the uh, section of resources you can find uh, uh, the learning courses and you can get enrolled in any of the um, courses and uh, after completing the module um, you will uh, not only um, learn the latest skills but you also earn a certificate or a degree for the same and uh, these courses are free of cost and uh, the courses are available in different categories like artificial intelligence machine learning cloud computing marketing and so on and these courses are uh, uh, led by renowned organization like uh, amazon neptel microsoft etc then uh, the government also provide partner services as we know that koi kisi bhi organization ko work karne ke liye proper work karne ke liye business support services ki uh, need hoti hai so startup india has partnered with various corporates and organization to provide a uh, free services to the startup um uh, to free uh, to provide free business support services to the startup and uh, these services are provided across different categories like uh, uh, technical uh, services management services cloud services legal support services financial services you can uh, 
go through the again to the resource uh, section on the startup india portal where you find the partnered services by clicking on these tabs you will get a list of the organization or the corporates uh, who have collaborated with the government of india and um, particular jis bhi area mein aapko support chahiye aap un um, support providers ki list ko uh, find kar sakte ho and then you can connect with them and discuss that aap, uh, what services you require and accordingly they will advise and help you now coming to the uh, government schemes uh, at present there are around 124 schemes run by the various ministries or department under government of india to help and promote startups and uh, you may apply for any of these schemes and grants which are relevant to your uh, sector or your startup or idea different different ministry uh, ke different different um, schemes hain apne uh, particular sector mein startups ko promote karne ke liye like uh, agar aapka startup technology uh, field se hai aur uh, science and technology ke field se hai then you can go to the ministry of science and technology section and you can see that there are 11 different schemes which are available for you uh, for uh, for promotion of research so they are providing funding support they are providing mentoring support you can go through these schemes and uh, whatever schemes you find is suitable for you or whatever help you need you can apply for these schemes like in the same way the ministry of msmes if your startup is also recognized as an uh, msme you can go to the ministry of msme schemes and uh, you can apply for the funding support or the uh, marketing assistance or the uh, mentoring support uh, whatever is offered by the ministry of msme now looking at some of the schemes like the ministry of agriculture uh, is running the venture capital assistance scheme which provide interest free loan uh, to the agripreneurs the ministry of electronic and information technology provide financial supports to msme and the technology startups for international patent filing similarly the ministry of finance uh, run the stand up india loan where loans are provided to the scheduled caste scheduled tribe or uh, uh, women entrepreneurs so similarly uh, by different ministries there are different schemes and at total 124 schemes are being offered by the ministries and for which you can apply according to your need now uh, the government recently has launched a startup india seed fund scheme uh, and this scheme was launched uh, by the prime minister of india um, in the startup india international summit which is held on 16 january 2021 on the completion of uh, uh, on the completion of the five years of startup india initiative uh, initiative we know uh, ki funding jo hai uh, startups ke liye uh, easily available nahi ho pati hai especially jab wo uh, proof of concept ke stage mein hote hain ya banks लोन तभी देता है जब स्टार्टअप्स कोई कोलेट्रल सिक्योरिटी उनको ऑफर कर सके सो ये फाइनेंस लेना सो टू टेक फंडिंग सपोर्ट स्पेशली व्हेन द स्टार्टअप्स आर इन द प्रूफ ऑफ कंसेप्ट स्टेज इज वेरी चैलेंजिंग एंड द गवर्नमेंट आइडेंटिफाई दिस चैलेंज एंड कम अप विद द स्टार्टअप इंडिया सीड फंड स्कीम where the government has set up a 9 uh, 945 crore rupees fund and uh, which are dispersed among the uh, startups through the eligible incubators the incubators can be government and non government assisted incubators which are operational for at least 2 to 3 years and uh, this fund is provide for proof of concept uh, for prototype development product trial market entries and commercialization um your startup needs to uh, fulfill two conditions if you want to avail this fund that uh, your startup should be incorporated less than 2 years and uh, the product and services which you are offering should be in the field of technology and uh, you should not have received any kind of uh, lo- uh, funding support from go- from other government schemes and it should not exceed rupees 10 lakhs so if you fulfill these conditions and you are in the uh, proof of concept stage and you need fund for um, prototype development for the product trial for market entry and commercialization you can apply for the startup india seed fund scheme 
Now, the Ministry of Electronic Information and Technology uh, has also launched Samrith Scheme, which stands for startup, uh, which is for the startup accelerators. Under this scheme, uh, the Ministry of Electronic and Information Technology is uh, providing funding support to startups uh, who are in this sector and uh, also helping them to bring out the skills. Um, the newly launched Samrith Schemes aims to focus on the acceleration of around uh, 200 uh, sorry 300 startups by extending them with customer connect um, investor connect and other opportunities for inter uh, international expansion now the state startup ranking uh, the state startup ranking framework is an evaluation tool which was uh, which aims at identifying the good practices and uh, push the each state and uh, the union territory toward large scale progress um, five years ago, uh, when the Startup India initiative was launched, the government has mentioned that uh, less than four states were having uh, separate uh, policies and uh, schemes for especially designed for the startups. But after the uh, startup launch of the Startup India initiative, more than uh, 30 uh, states, uh, including states and uh, UTs, more than 30 are having now their own startup uh, policies and programs. So under the state startup ranking, what uh, the government offers you is that that agar apne apne state se koi startup support liya hai and uh, uh, you are the beneficiary of that uh, support and you find that there are certain loopholes in them, then you may give your valuable feedback regarding the same so that the state can improve it because there are uh, seven uh, reform areas under this ranking. That is the institutional support fostering innovation and entrepreneurship, access to market, incubation support, funding support, mentorship support, and capacity building of enablers by expert from startup ecosystem. So these seven areas give a holistic picture of the state UT support to their respective startup ecosystem. And if you have, uh, if you are a beneficiary of any of the um, particular area, uh, you have taken support in any of the particular area. So under this, you can give your feedback and when the state score low on that particular area, it will try to improvise that area, which will be ultimately benefit, uh, be, will be beneficial for the startups. Now, uh, the, the government has also launched the National Startups Award and uh, the National Startup Award was um, launched to further strengthen the startup ecosystem in the country. The National Startup Award seeks to recognize and reward the outstanding startups in the ecosystem and as well as the uh, incubators and the accelerators. And every year applications are invited and the winners get funding and all the finalists get handholding support. Uh, the National Startup Award 2020 uh, had 192 finalists and 36 winners. And uh, here 12 sectors or 35 sub-sectors se applications invite kiye gaye the. जिन में से जो winners थे उनको five lakh rupees का cash prize दिया गया था हर एक sector से and जो runner up थे और जो finalists थे उनको किसी in nine track areas में से एक areas में hand holding support भी provide किया गया था like investor connect, mentorship, startup India champion and government connect, international market access के लिए regulatory support के लिए और startup India showcase में so if uh, you can submit your applications for the national startup award and uh, you can earn cash prize as well as the hand holding support uh, from the government the eligibility criteria uh, for the startup is that uh, uh, your entity should be recognized by the department for promotion of in, uh, industry and internal trade and uh, you should do, uh, deal in a product which is uh, present in the market and uh, you should have all the applicable trade specific registration forms like uh, the GST registration. If you are an MSME, then MSME registration. And uh, you should not be a defaulter in the last three years. And uh, you should also and you also need to submit an audited financial statement or the balance sheet that is the balance sheet and the profit and loss account of the last three financial years. And uh, once you have submitted your applications, a committee will um, scrutinize the application, evaluate the application, and then the winners will be announced.
then the government is also running a startup india showcase program uh, the startup india showcase is an online discovery platform and uh, where uh, the profiles of the most promising startups is being displayed and uh, this uh, startup india showcase platform gives you an opportunity uh, uh, to promote your business to network uh, with the best startups in the ecosystem to discover the other best startups in your sector or other related sector and as it is a star repository because only the best of the uh, um, startups are showcased here it will earn a name and fame for you as well so you may apply for the showcase by filing up an online form which is available at the startup india portal uh, portal on the following link now coming to the covid 19 resources as we have known that covid 19 pandemic has posed unprecedented challenges for the startup ecosystem of india and the government has india therefore has joined hand with various stakeholders to offer support to these startups these supports are offered in the form of funding open challenges uh, regulatory reforms uh, the government has also conducted uh, webinars and workshops uh, for startups on different topics for specific sectors and uh, the supply to government via gem and the investor engagement uh, let us have a quick uh, glance at these uh, um, resources. Now, funding support to startups. Uh, like if you are an innovative startup uh, and you need a grant to find the spread of the pandemic, that is you need COVID-19 assistance and you are working in the field um, uh, in the field of fighting the spread of the pandemic, you are making products and services uh, for the COVID-19 relief, then government uh, gives you grant opportunities, equity opportunities as well as debt uh, opportunities. Uh, the the as uh, the action COVID nineteen team uh, is a hundred crore grant, um, which is set up to give a startup an initial a seed grant to fight the spread of the pandemic. Then there is United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund, which is also uh, aims to support uh, uh, the research and development uh, uh, through the through the partnership between us and indian researchers and entrepreneurs then the government also provide uh, uh, the government with other organizations also provide equity support and uh, through the om the omidya network uh, india rapid resource funding the bexley advisor covid 19 action fund uh, the bexley advisor covid 19 action fund act as a bridge and it collects funds and entries and shares them with the participating venture capitalists and investors. Uh, then you can also apply for loans uh, under the SIDB Safe, SIDB Safe Plus, SIDB CFAS, and uh, uh, Department of Science and Technology coverage program. Uh, coverage program. Then Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. The Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan is a chance for the Indian um, small businesses to take charge of the innovation um, earlier for which we were dependent on the uh, global suppliers. And uh, the, there's no, um, all the announcement under the Atmanirbhar package were geared toward the MSMEs and there are no specific uh, um, initiatives for the startups but uh, as per the changes are made in the definitions of the msmes there has been a broad alignment of the uh, definition of the startup as uh, the threshold limit for the startup is 100 crore or msmes ki be under the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan jo uh, revised uh, definition thi wo 100 crore tak ki value kar di gayi uh, turnover ke basis pe so if you are a startup and uh, you need to, and you want to take uh, some benefit under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan, you can get your startup registered under the MSME and uh, then you can uh, avail the benefits. Under this uh, 3, lakh, uh, 3 lakh crore collateral free loan uh, were, um, fund were formed uh, to help the MSMEs. Um, 20,000 crore uh, subordinate loans were also uh, funds were also formed and uh, 50,000 crore equity uh, equity funds were also created uh, for equity infusion. Um, it has been decided to extend the timeline of the emergency credit line guarantee scheme till the 31st uh, March 2022 or uh, 2022 
and uh, under the subordinate loan uh, they are not the direct loan but uh, they are the credit uh, guarantee by the credit guarantee fund trust for micro small and uh, micro and small enterprises where you are giving uh, partial credit support so, uh, partial credit support you can apply to the banks uh, for the loan and uh, the banks will ultimately give the debt to the msme which is guaranteed by the uh, cgt mse um, under the uh, working under the ministry of micro small and medium enterprises the atmanirbhar under the atmanirbhar bharat there also an arise atal new india challenge program to some uh, to support msmes uh, and rnd uh, and research and development and grant and aid of up to 50 lakh uh, for 9 to 12 months have been given to the startups to develop a minimum usable prototype uh, under the atmanirbhar bharat arise atal new challenges uh, different ministries ke sath collaboration karke uh, different sectors ke liye alag alag challenges diye gaye the एंड एप्लीकेशन इन्वाइट किए गए थे उन चैलेंजेस के सोल्यूशन के लिए और विनर्स को फिफ्टी लाख रुपीज तक का ग्रांट एड प्रोवाइड किया गया द लिस्ट ऑफ दराइज एनिया अराइज वन पॉइंट जीरो विनर्स हैव बीन लाइक दिस लाइक द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज गिवेन अ चैलेंज कि जियो स्पैटियल इन्फॉर्मेशन के फील्ड में दे हैव आस्ट दैट मशीन लर्निंग या आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का यूज करते हुए क्रॉप मॉनिटरिंग में वेदर फोरकास्टिंग में और प्रोग्राम इवेल्युएशन में उसका यूज कैसे किया जाए ये चैलेंज दिया गया था स्टार्टअप्स को एंड जिन स्टार्टअप्स ने अपने प्रपोजल्स फॉरवर्ड किए गए थे उनमें से बेस्ट को सिलेक्ट किया गया था एंड लाइक दिस एवरी ईयर द गवर्नमेंट ट्राइज टू गिव चैलेंजेस एंड ask for uh, the solutions of these challenges and provide funding support to the winner so you can participate in these challenges as well and uh, get uh, funding support for your startup the government has also launched an exclusive and a de uh, dedicated covid-19 platform uh, to list all the suppliers and the products uh, and their product uh, which is which are used uh, uh, to curb the corona outbreak agar aapka uh, startup aise products mein ya services mein deal karta hai jo covid-19 um, ke liye work uh, jo covid-19 ko curb karne ke liye hai to you can uh, get your um, uh, and um, you can get your startup registered as a seller on this portal and there and from there you can sell your products to the government so it is also a great initiative by the government of india uh, in time of covid to provide market accessibility to the startup and uh, coming to the way ahead the government as we have gone through these schemes we have find that the government is not only promoting uh, these schemes to help the present group of startups uh, but it is also um, working to uh, motivate and foster innovation in the budding entrepreneurs through its atal innovation mission through establishing atal tinkering lab in school through the uh, atl marathon jahan pe schools uh, se innovative solutions mange gaye hain so these initiative has been introduced for the development of indian startup ecosystem and uh, as if things go as we plan maybe india will host as many successful startups as the usa does or uh, any other leading nation do uh, by the end of 2013 um thank you everyone uh, that's all from my side now i'm um, over to you uh, dr mumita thank you varsha for that excellent presentation and uh, i am sure jo hamare students uh, aapke talk ko sun rahe honge wo kafi motivated honge aur aapke talk mein bahut information hai jo hamare students aur hamare faculty members bhi use kar sakte hain aapne bahut hi latest information diya hai so i congratulate you on your presentation thank you ma'am वर्षा आम श्योर जो हमारे सुनने वाले हैं उनके मन में काफी सवाल होंगे इस वक्त या कोई कमेंट करना चाहेंगे तो हम इनवाइट करेंगे हमारे सुनने वाले हैं जो आज के यहाँ पे प्रेजेंट हैं उनको मेरा एक छोटा सा सवाल है स्टूडेंट जो स्टार्टअप शुरू करना चाहते हैं उनके पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से कि ये जो इनक्यूबेटर्स हैं 
जहाँ पे डिफरेंट तरह के सपोर्ट दिए जाते हैं टेक्नोलॉजिकल या इस तरह की चीजें तो क्या कोई स्टूडेंट डायरेक्टली जा सकता है अप्रोच कर सकता है किसी इनक्यूबेटर को कि हमारे को हेल्प चाहिए और अगर हाँ तो किस तरह से जाए वो आ, क्या क्या प्रिपरेशन करके जाए मैम लाइक इनक्यूबेशन जो फैसिलिटीज है वो एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट से कोलेबोरेट करके की जा रही है Uh, जो डिफरेंट आई आई टी इंस्टीट्यूशन है जो आई एम्स है इवन जो यूनिवर्सिटीज uh, हैं स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज है वहाँ पे स्पेशली जो टेक्नोलॉजी फील्ड में है या मैनेजमेंट फील्ड में है उन्होंने इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स बनाए हैं अगर कोई स्टूडेंट uh, अपना uh, वहाँ पे हेल्प चाहता है तो ही हैज टू डेवलप अ प्रपोजल जहाँ पे उसे अपने आइडिया के बारे में बताना होगा ही हैज टू टेल की वट विल बी द बिजनेस मॉडल उसे पूरी एक ब्रीफ डिटेल देनी होगी और द इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स में जब प्रपोजल दिया जाएगा तो देर विल बी डेफिनेटली अ कमिटी जो उस प्रपोजल को स्कैन करेगी एंड अकॉर्डिंगली मतलब दे विल सी कि उस पर कैसे आगे फर्दर वर्क कर सकते हैं ओके थैंक यू वर्षा नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर शर्मा टू गिव हिज कॉमेंट्स एंड व्यूज प्लीज डॉक्टर शर्मा वर्षा वेरी एक्सलेंट प्रेजेंटेशन गुड गागर में सागर गागर में सागर है बहुत ज्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन है मैं तो ये सोच रहा था कि अगर ये इन्फॉर्मेशन कम से कम तीन या चार सेशंस में होती तो बहुत और अच्छा रहता क्योंकि कई बार क्या होता है ओवर डोज होती है तो उसको डाइजेस्ट करना भी लगता है पर चूंकि रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो रहेगा हमारा स्टूडेंट्स के पास में तो दे कैन व्यू इट अगेन एंड अगेन तो इन्फॉर्मेशन एक जगह हो गई ये भी एक अच्छी बात है बहुत सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन जो आपने दी है पर्टिकुलरली उन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जो कि अपना स्टार्टअप करना चाह रहे हैं बहुत यूजफुल रहेगी मैं यहाँ ये जानना चाह रहा हूँ स्टूडेंट्स के विहार पे पूछ रहा हूँ अगर किसी स्टूडेंट के दिमाग में कोई आइडिया आ रहा है आइडिया आ रहा है सिंपली क्योंकि हम देखते हैं कि बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट जब हम भी कोई एक्टिविटीज करते हैं आइडिया कॉम्पिटिशन करेंगे बिजनेस प्लान कॉम्पिटिशन करेंगे या और कोई इनोवेशन से रिलेटेड करते हैं तो एकदम से पहले वो कहते हैं कि हमें पैसा नहीं मिलेगा पैसा कहाँ से मिलेगा कैसे मिलेगा तो आइडिया जैसे आइडिया का मतलब जब हम ये बात करते हैं तभी उनके दिमाग में दे कम विद सम गुड आइडिया कि कोई प्रॉब्लम है उसका तो उनको थोड़ा ये बताओ कि उनको जब कुछ सोच रहे हैं और पैसा मिलने तक का उनको क्या करना होगा एकदम से ये ना हो कि बस दिमाग में आया और मुझे पैसा मिल जाए ये थोड़ा बहुत ब्रीफ में एक दो मिनट में ये बताओ ताकि वो रहेगा कि क्लियर हो जाएगा तो लाइक हाँ जब भी हमारे दिमाग में ऐसा कोई आइडिया आता है और हम सोचते हैं कि हम उस आइडिया को एक वेंचर में कन्वर्ट करना चाहते हैं तो uh, सबसे पहले फंडिंग बहुत जरूरी है एंड इट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू डेवलप द प्रोटोटाइप्स और कमर्शलाइजेशन के लिए मार्केटिंग के लिए बट इट इज वे मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट कि पहले हम उस पर्टिकुलर आइडिया को इवेलुएट करें और फर्दर अच्छे से प्रोसेस करके डेवलप करें जिसके लिए हमें सबसे पहले शायद मेंटरशिप सपोर्ट चाहिए होगी कुछ एक्सपर्ट व्यूज चाहिए होंगे तो इट्स बेटर जब आपके मन में अगर कोई आइडिया आ रहा है तो लाइक ऑन दी स्टार्टअप इंडिया पोर्टल मेंटरशिप एक मेंटरशिप सॉरी मेंटर और एक्सपर्ट्स की एक लिस्ट अवेलेबल है इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स की लिस्ट अवेलेबल है एक्सलोरेटर्स की लिस्ट अवेलेबल है so you can contact with them you can discuss your idea with them and they can help you in a better way uh, because they are experienced unhone un ideas pe pehle se matlab bahut sare ideas pe kaam kiya hai bahut sare logo ke sath kaam kiya hai so they are knowing in a better way ki aapka idea kis tarike se aage badh sakta hai so instead of looking uh, instantly looking for a funding support it is better to go to the mentors or the expert uh, to get your idea evaluated आ, ये ठीक है कि आइडिया आया उसको मेंटल से इवेलुएशन की जरूरत है लेकिन अपनी जितनी भी स्कीम्स बताई हैं उनमें से कौन सी स्कीम ऐसी है जो कि प्रोटोटाइप डेवलपमेंट के लिए गवर्नमेंट ने 9.45 करोड़ रुपीस का सीड फंड फंड सीड फंड बनाया है बट डायरेक्टली uh, उसे नहीं हम ले सकते What we can do is we can enroll ourselves under an incubation center. तो वो हमें guide भी करेंगे and साथ साथ हमारी need के according हमें funding support भी provide करेंगे. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay sir. Uh, before we conclude, I think R C Delhi they want to ask Haan. say something. Sir Maji, I wanted to invite R C Delhi one for 
comments and uh, suggestions or observations, please. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sharma. Thank you, Mamita, ma'am. And uh, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Uh, okay, thank you, ma'am. मैम सबसे पहले तो मैं वर्षा को थैंक्स एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करना चाहूंगा कि इन्होंने एक बहुत ही वेल रिसर्च प्रेजेंटेशन इन्होंने दिया है बिल्कुल लेटेस्ट अपडेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन इन्होंने हमारे साथ हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के साथ शेयर की है एंड आई कंग्रेचुलेट वर्षा एज वेल एज थैंक यू बेटा थैंक यू सो मच and uh, as well as i congratulate mtid also for arranging this session uh, mera ek chhota sa prashn hai chhota sa sawal hai uh, as a student jab ek naya student koi ek naya idea lekar aata hai to kya hamare paas koi step by step guide hai uh, chahe mistri ki website pe ho ya fir aur kahi available ho ki ek naya student jo startup idea lekar hamare paas aata hai तो क्या अगर किसी फॉर्म में आ, कोई किसी टाइप की स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड हो जो उस स्टूडेंट को एट ईच स्टेप गाइड कर सके कि अभी प्रेजेंटली उनको ये करना है इस स्टेप को पूरा करने के बाद से नेक्स्ट स्टेप उनके लिए ये होगा तो अगर इस तरीके की कोई स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड अवेलेबल है तो आई थिंक कि हमें वो स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड सभी के साथ पब्लिसाइज uh, करके शेयर करनी चाहिए ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग क्योंकि एक एक स्टार्टिंग में एक लोगों के माइंड में एक कंफ्यूजन रहता है थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस लो रहता है कि भाई हाउ शुड आई प्रोसीड और मुझे आगे कैसे बढ़ना है मैं इसको पूरा कैसे कर पाऊंगा डेस्टिनेशन तक कैसे पहुंच पाऊंगा तो uh, अगर कोई स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड ऑलरेडी तैयार है और कहीं मिस्ट्री की वेबसाइट पे अगर अवेलेबल हो तो वो हम शेयर कर सकते हैं एंड इफ इट इज नॉट रेडीली अवेलेबल एट प्रेजेंट तो कैन वी डेवलप ए स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड इन दिस रिगार्ड इन दिस इन दिस मैटर तो दिस इज माय क्वेश्चन प्लीज थैंक यू सो मच एंड वन सेकेंड माई बेस्ट विश यू Uh, it was a very well researched presentation very nicely presented by miss washa thank you so thank much you. thank you thank you sir uh, so as uh, the guidelines uh, are concerned uh, so i have not come uh, came across matlab any particular document which has these matlab uh, step by step guideline ki kya kya steps hone chahiye बट ये मतलब देर आर इनिशियटिव देर आर स्कीम्स जो स्टूडेंट्स को ये बता सके कि अगर उन्हें पर्टिकुलर डोमेन में कुछ असिस्टेंस चाहिए पर्टिकुलर एरिया पे कुछ असिस्टेंस चाहिए तो वो ले सकते हैं बट ऐसी कोई स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइडलाइंस आई हैव नॉट केम अक्रॉस मतलब थ्रू दी मिनिस्ट्रीज पोर्टल और थ्रू दी गवर्नमेंट पोर्टल तो मे बी वी कैन डेवलप वन मुझे इसकी जरूरत है कि एक स्टूडेंट के दृष्टिकोण से अगर हम सोचे तो मुझे लगता है कि अगर ऐसी एक सिंपल स्टेप बाई स्टेप लाइड हमारे न्यू कमर हमारे स्टूडेंट के अपात रहेगी तो डिविल फील सम टू स्टार्ट विद थैंक यू सो मच एंड थैंक यू डॉक्टर शर्मा वर्मा डॉक्टर शर्मा आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू हियर Uh, हम लोगों ने जो आइडिया टू स्टार्टअप स्कीम जो इनिशिएट की है इग्नो में उसमें एक बहुत डिटेल्ड गाइड बुक तो नहीं बनाई है लेकिन हाँ स्टेप स्टेप वाइज क्या क्या होने चाहिए एंड अकॉर्डिंगली वी आर टेकिंग दीज और इनिशिएटिव कि पहला आइडिया इनवाइट करना है उसके लिए फिर उसको किस तरीके से फर्दर डेवलप करना है और आगे क्या क्या स्टेप्स हो सकते हैं दैट वी आर डूइंग बट यस योर सजेशन इज वेरी गुड कि उसको एक प्रॉपर तरीके से अगर हम स्टूडेंट्स के लिए अवेलेबल कराएंगे दैट विल वी विल ट्राई टू वर्क अपॉन दैट थैंक यू वेरी मच तो थैंक यू थैंक यू वी हैव आरसी भोपाल वांट्स टू से समथिंग डॉक्टर पांडे थैंक यू डॉक्टर मोमिका सबसे पहले तो मैं कहना चाहूंगा कि ये प्रेजेंटेशन बहुत अच्छा था बहुत यूजफुल था और उसके लिए मैं जरूर कॉम्प्लीमेंट करना चाहूंगा जो हमारे रिसोर्स पर्सन है को मेरे दिमाग में एक बात ये आ रही थी कि जितनी सारी जो स्कीम्स हैं गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की और मुझे लगता है कि अगर हम अपने स्टूडेंट्स के लिए अपने वेबसाइट पे एनसीआईडी की वेबसाइट पे कहीं पर कोई एक 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 बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं एक वेब पेज ऐसा बना दें जिसमें कि ये सभी स्कीम के लिंक्स दिए हों 
कि इस पर्टिकुलर पर्पज के लिए आप इस लिंक पे जाए और यहाँ से इसको अवेल करें तो एक वो स्टूडेंट के लिए मुझे लगता है कि वो बड़ी सिंगल विंडो में बहुत अच्छा सा एक इंटरफेस हो जाएगा स्टूडेंट के साथ में क्योंकि इतनी सारी स्कीम्स हैं अगर ये तो अभी आपने बताया है हमें तो हमको पता लग गया लेकिन एक एक स्टूडेंट कहाँ से जा कहाँ जाए किस चीज के लिए उसको तो शायद पता भी नहीं होगा सो ही नो की वेदर सच ए स्कीम रियली एग्जिस्ट और नॉट तो मुझे लगता है ये ये चीज बहुत ही ज्यादा जरूरी है मुझे लगता है एन सी के प्लेटफॉर्म पर तो जरूर इसको किया जाना चाहिए एक मेरा छोटा सा प्रश्न ये है कि क्या ये ज्यादातर स्कीम्स जो केवल इनरोल्ड स्टूडेंट्स के लिए हैं या इसमें से कोई ऐसा स्टूडेंट अगर जिसने अपनी पढ़ाई पूरी कर ली हो फॉर इंस्टेंस से किसी ने अभी बीटेक किया है और अभी उसके बाद कुछ नहीं कर रहा है और अपना स्टार्टअप शुरू करना चाह रहा है तो भी इन स्कीम्स का सभी स्कीम्स का फायदा ले सकता है बिकॉज वो पहले स्टूडेंट रहा होगा और अभी किसी यूनिवर्सिटी या कॉलेज से अटैच नहीं है तो भी ले सकता है और बीस स्कीम्स आर मेंट ओनली फॉर इनरोल्ड स्टूडेंट्स वो वो चीज थोड़ा सा मुझे थोड़ा क्लियर कर okay uh, so like uh, i have said that uh, uchchatar avishkar yojana uh, that scheme was especially meant for the uh, iit uh, students only and uh, as far as the other schemes are concerned it is like uh, for the uh, startups who are already in existence um, like uh, you have to register uh, get re- uh, recognition for the startup first and then you can avail these schemes and offers which are being given by the government of india means only that particular scheme is meant for them means jo iit ke student wala aur baaki yes, sir yes. enrolled so students ke liye uh, agar so so koi university mein koi student enrolled hai aur fir wo is keval wohi kar sakta hai means usne padhai puri kar li aur bhi jaise to fir then he is not entitled for this scheme aisa kuch hai so the particular matlab student is not from any educational institution at present so uh, what he can do the wo kisi incubation center mein apne proposals ko send kar sakta hai aur wahan se attach ho sakta hai aur in case agar uske educational institute mein agar wo currently pursue kar raha hai koi course wahan pe and wahan pe innovation ko promote karne ke liye ya startups ko promote karne ke liye uh, government of india se collaboration karke wo educational institute koi support uh, provide kar rahe hain to wo wahan se uh, le sakta hai ओके थैंक यू और ये इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स के बारे में एक हमारे एक एनजीओ हमारे रीजन में उसने हमको अप्रोच किया था कि इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर कैसे बना सकता है क्या वो कोई एनजीओ भी को अपना इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर बना सकता है सपोज दे वांट टू डू समथिंग ऑफ दिस काइंड तो इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स बनाने के लिए केवल यूनिवर्सिटीज ही या कॉलेजेस ही इंटाइटेड है और कोई नहीं बना सकता ऐसा है ना means incubation center suppose somebody wants to set up a incubation center jaisa ki sab videshon mein hota bhi hai ki means agar apna incubation center na de aur logon ko hum incubation support de unke businesses ke liye to yes, hindustan mein kya is type ki cheez ye permission hai kya because ek particular organization ne humko poocha tha to hum usko bata nahi paye uh, yes sir uh, there is a scope ki uh, private uh, jo institutions hain wo bhi incubation ke liye apply kar sakte hain नहीं एक जो अटल इनोवेशन मिशन है उसमें कुछ ऐसा प्रोविजन है जो कम्युनिटी बेस्ड इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स की कॉन्सेप्ट है आई थिंक दैट वी हैव टू कंफर्म विद दैट सम टाइम्स लेकिन उसमें कोई जरूरी नहीं है को एकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूट या यूनिवर्सिटी ही हो सोसाइटी में तो उस केस में एनजीओ या कम्युनिटी बेस्ड कोई इस तरीके का हो सकता है एंड आई थिंक देव सेट अपन सेंटर्स विल चेक इट अप Okay, I think there is some provision for that. So, do we have any more questions or uh, comments or queries? Varsha, I would like to suggest you um, uh, two things. One is uh, this PPT, yes. which you have.